Welcome to Mediterranean. Welcome to game one of F2 against Alliance. We have here in the green, we have player. I think he is team captain of F2. He's in the green left side of the map. He is playing Zeus. We are going to slow that action down. There we go. Okay. His pocket player in the teal, GMZ going um, Gaia. So Zeus, Zeus, right? Yeah, Zeus. Gaia and number three, the one, the only host of the room, Squash. And Squash is going Hades. So we got Greek, Greek with a Gaia pocket. Interesting. And even more interesting, GMZ going for Dat Arox, okay? A lot of um a lot of Atlantean players, they won't go for the um any hunt that's near the TC because it takes a um, a couple extra seconds, partially because it takes a couple extra seconds to kill the hunt. Anyways, okay, so Zeus, Gaia, Hades, and we have for the um, Alliance team, we got Chemo bottom left. He is going Gaia. Interesting. We got a couple Gaia picks. Alrighty then. Pocket is more going Aranos here in the pink. And we got Ulysses going Zeus. Okay, so Zeus, Gaia for both teams, but the one difference is Hades for Squash and Aranos for more, okay? On the left-hand flank, we got Gaia, Chemo against player Zeus. Zeus, Gaia on the uh, left side, and we got, whoops, Ulysses, Zeus against Squash, Hades on the right side. So it'll be interesting to see which side does um, the pocket players, GMZ as Gaia and more as Aranos. Which side are they gonna go? Which side are they gonna go? Are they going to go up top to the Greek mirror? Are they going to go to the left? Um, are they going to go to the left with uh, chemo between chemo and uh, chemo and player? We shall see. We shall see. I will say one thing. Um, I think that player and um, squash are exceptional Mediterranean team game players. Uh, they once the instant they get just the teensiest little advantage or stability or whatever boom they're taking additional town centers and their eco is pumping they're pumping they're pumping they're pumping of course they have good production macro etc on um, on the actual water um, but they have they have really nice boom to back it up I'm gonna say it's very interesting to see two Atlanteans on the Alliance team um, and so depending on how this game goes, a lot of times you'll see um, the 3v3 Mediterranean games go pretty late game, pretty long, pretty late game. Um, so I know I know um, players like Boyt have a big old hard on for Gaia these days. Um, but I don't know, for an Aranos pocket player, that's a little bit awkward to transition over to land. Um, I guess Gaia could maybe be a little bit awkward to tran transition over to land as well, but having the having the player and squash on those on those flank positions, I think that's going to be really strong. So let's see what Ulysses is going to be able to do. Okay, Ulysses up through Athena already. Player up through Athena. Here we go. We got the classical ages coming in. Um, the earliest is at 420. Happy 420 uh, for player. Then up through 435-ish when... Are we missing anybody advancing? I don't know. Maybe we're missing someone advancing. Anyways, okay. What is this, Kima? What is this? What is this? We have we have a lot of oracles here on this left side before both Kimo and uh, Moore. Now, of course, Kimo Moore is um, more is Aranos, so he can get that Valor Valor in if he wants to do some type of abuse with these oracles. But player is attacking one of those very nicely. Um, Kimo has his oracles here. I guess he could buy Hero Oracles instead of Valorizing to try and get some pressure on the docks. Very interesting. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, two docks for two docks for player. Three for Kimo. On this right side, we got Squash with two, and we got Ulysses with two. Okay. Player's a little bit slow to start making triremes. That's a little bit peculiar. He's the first one up. He's a little slow to start making triremes. Interesting. Interesting. And boom, just like that, Chemo actually has a really nice <coughs> military advantage. He's got that servant plus... Uh, Plus three by reams compared to just the two from player. Okay. Mm. 
But GMZ does go over to help him, so two on one over on this side. And it looks like uh, more Titan, more is pro in the pink, probably going to be coming over this way as well. Okay. Okay. The big thing here, in my opinion, is um, since F2 has two Greek players, by reams are so or sorry, tri reams are so much stronger than the by reams. Um, so I think depending on production and micro and everything, um, we'll see. We'll see what these guys are able to do. But theoretically, I think that the double Greek player uh, or the double Greek with the tri reams, I think that's a nice that gives them a nice little advantage on um, on water. Okay, having said that, we got player with some sick aggression here. More with his uh, oracles over here. Okay, that ti or that Minotaur is still very alive. Both Odysseus and Jason there. Um, watchtower upgrade for chemo, very sick. Okay, excellent pressure there by um, player. Let's go over to the right side. We got Ulysses and Squash. I think Ulysses and Squash are gonna kind of cancel each other out a little bit. Maybe though, one will get an advantage back and forth. But I think both of these players are very well matched up, or not well matched up, evenly matched up. So I think that I think that the big difference is is, is going to occur over on this left hand side where we have Greek by Reem and by Reem by Reem plus the sick aggression here. Honestly, the Minotaur plus Jason going to be able to pick off that Watchtower pretty darn quickly. And man, chemo has got to get some military out. Otherwise, he's going to be gold star, baby. Oof. Boom. There goes the tower. And yeah, lots of pressure here. Let's go back onto the water. Okay, GMZ and player wanting to go a little bit more aggressive here. In fact, Squash is over here to join the party as well. We're gonna have all six players over here soon enough. You can see Ulysses on that right side. He's sending his glob of trireams over. Here we go. Are we gonna see any? We got a Carnivora. There's player with the first restoration. Holy Moses, Ulysses with the restoration. All righty then. <laughs> What? And Chemo calls it. And they call it because of the gold pressure. Are you kidding me? Chemo gets basically gold starved on land. And that is that. I think this is one of the shortest high level 3v3 Mediterranean games I think I've ever seen. Holy smokes. Player definitely did win the game on that one. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, like I mentioned before, player player, and uh, squash, definitely. I mean, you see, check it out. I told you, the smallest little advantage, the smallest little, uh, and boom, these guys are taking TCs. They're on, you know, uh, player was going the aggressive route, which I personally prefer. Excellent. Anyways, um, but yeah, boom, second TC, second TC before eight minutes. Very well done by squash. And that was, that was some real shit right there. That was some real shit. Is it worthwhile looking at the... Whoa! Look at that KD for GMZ and player. 5 to 16 and 5 to 23. Wow. Ulysses had a really nice KD. 2 to 6. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is... That was... Oh, Ooh. that was a bummer, man. That was a big time bummer. I wanted to cast like a nice cool long 3v3 game with a whole bunch of action and titans and wonders and water and trade and 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 vortexes and all that stuff that's a i mean that was awesome but that was kind of a bummer at the same time eh yeah boyd's gonna be happy yeah about a seven and a half minute mediterranean game boyd's definitely gonna be happy about that one <laughs> hey let's uh let's finish the predictions huh 50 and 50 that's kind of funny you guys were perfectly even 50% and 50%. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to Alfheim, everybody. We got F2 player. We got player here in the green. He's in the bottom corner of the map. He is playing Zeus. Surprise, surprise. Hey, um, yeah, we got some Loki action, man. We got Squash in the pocket in the blue playing Loki. Very interesting. Okay. 
and then we got GMZ on this top side going around. I was interesting. I was I was kind of anticipating a little bit of, a little bit more of some boomy action, but with Aranos, Loki, and of course Zeus. Zeus can do anything, right? Um, Zeus can go aggressive, you know, aggressive, boomy, whatever he wants to do. So that's a little bit interesting. I didn't quite anticipate that. Um, I suppose we're going to see a lot more aggression in this game than I thought. So hell yeah, let's go, baby. Um, then we got Kimo in the red. He's on the right side of his map or of the map. He is in the red playing raw. Their pocket, Alliance's pocket, Ulysses going Loki as well. I see these gentlemen are gearing up for Fimble Winter Tournament number three. Exclamation mark Fimble Winter in the chat if you're interested. Anyways, and then we got more playing Aranos. Very interesting. So we got almost a complete mirror. We got Aranos, Loki, Ra for the Alliance guys. And then we got Aranos, Loki, Zeus for the F2 guys. So um, yeah, Aranos mirror up top, Loki pockets for both players. Loki pockets for both players. And then Ra against Zeus on that bottom side. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see, is it LTA that is the technologies? I'm pretty sure it is. Kimo's gonna win this. Player has trouble against Deggy. You think so, Alex? Well, now, having said that, Alex, having said that, this is a... Ooh, having said that, okay. Let's check out the map between player and Kimo, okay? Um, I want to point out that there are forward TCs, okay? So this is player's forward TC. And if we start at Kimo's main base... And if we head south, we're going to go find Kimo's forward TC down here. Now, the very interesting thing is that if this... Look how close these town centers are um, between each other. These TCs are pretty darn close. So, um, considering this little wood line right here, if player has some map, some map control, he can potentially sit catapults back there and um, attack Kimo's little TC. Similarly, well, not similarly, but, you know, alternatively, contrarily, if Kimo gets uh, that set up with a nice trade route, boom, he could start murking player's face into oblivion, which would hurt quite bad on that, um, you know, on your forward TC. So, um, let's see, let's see what the map control situation is going to be like. I think it's going to be interesting to see what Squash and Ulysses are going to do as the Loki players. Um, speaking of Loki players, boom, we got GMZ and more both um, advancing at four minutes. Wow, very fast advance for both of those guys. Very nice. Okay, and boom, Ulysses still getting his uh, temple up. We have a more forward temple for Squash. Okay, very defensive temple for Ulysses. And um, where was Squash's temple? There it is. Squash going a little bit more aggressive with his temple. Okay. Anyways, I'm interested to see what um, player's going to do. I'm confident that um, Kimo's probably going to... Wait, what? Confident Kimo... I was confident Kimo's going to go for some type of 2TC bullshit. His economy's looking a little bit odd, though. Just barely going over to berries now. Just barely dropping a temple. Alrighty, then. Well, I guess the uh, the action's going to be up on this top side in the short term. Of course, we got the Forsetis coming in. We got Prometheus just in for both the uh, both the Aranos guys. Is that double counter barracks? Double counter barracks. Interesting. Double counter barracks from GMZ and more going with the double counter barracks. Interesting. Looks like these guys have been watching each other's recorded games. I didn't really look to see how much Hunt was on the map. Seems like there's maybe not all that much hunt on the map, considering the fact that Squash is uh, is hunting in the center of the map, for crying out loud. A little bit of some back elk, okay. So I guess that makes sense. That makes sense if there's low hunt going for going for a whole bunch of Terma, okay. Do we have any idea what player's going for? He is... What is player going for? He's got Athena coming in, a couple of villagers going forward. I haven't really paid attention to his economy. He's got three on. Looks like we might see some, um, maybe. I know Boyd. Boyd's got a hard on for those hoplites, baby. We'll see if he maybe gets hoplites going, eh? Player 2TC. I'm not I'm not going to engage the resources up on this um, corner over here because there's six players. It's just too messy. I don't think he's going for 2TC unless he's going for this TC, <laughs> which would be quite crazy. But it looks like, whoops. Sorry, my mouse glitched out there. Military Academy. Okay. Looks like we're going to probably have a 3v2 um, for the first 
you know, three, four, or five minutes of the game. We'll see what Chemo's gonna do. Prepping a little Shifting Sands box, looks like it, okay. And probably a 2TC play. He's going up through Bata, okay. And here we go, Herseer, Oracles, Terma, everything is hitting Ulysses. Here in the middle. The fastest series ever, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Yep, we got Shadoof coming in, so they're going for that hardcore 3v2. While the raw player is slow to uh, slow to join the mix. So let's see how fast they can really make some moves and hit hard. Two military or two military academies and an archery range. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We do see more trying to get a little bit of some counter harassment on GMZ. Well, he he might be able to find something good right here. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if Seven Terma can pick off a citizen. Maybe if he's not paying attention, check that out. That's negative one citizen for GMZ. Are you kidding me? At least it should be. Boom. If he's really not paying attention, there could be two citizens down for GMZ. Are you kidding me? That's two citizens down for GMZ. I'm gonna keep this one highlighted right there. Then we're gonna go back over on this other side. Hello, we got some dead villagers for Ulysses. One, two, three. And this guy, he's thinking about dying, but not quite there. Okay. Bunch of dead vills for Ulysses and a couple of dead... Uh, okay, a couple of dead citizens for GMZ. Ouch. That had to Ouch, hurt. Ouch, that, that had, had to hurt. hurt. Yep. Okay, there we go. We got Chemo's reign, 7-11 minutes. They're really putting the pressure on here against, uh, against Ulysses. Okay. Nice play there by Squash. Careful with those Terma, dude. Careful with those Terma. The big question, can they pick off or kill off Ulysses before Akima really gets rolling? That's the big question. Okay, those Terma getting some nice damage on the economy. Squash's, uh, Squash's food is idle. We already mentioned the two dead citizens. Huge, baby. That is huge. Watchtower upgrade coming in for Ulysses. Just kidding. He lost all of his watchtowers, so no. <laughs> no watchtower upgrade coming in for Ulysses. He does have a good, he has a good size army right here. Uh, Ulysses does, okay. GMZ lost two citizens, uh, Hero. He might have lost an additional one while I was over here looking at this, but we saw two dead for sure. He saved that second one. Or, I mean, the third one. Here's my opinion. Players down at the bottom score, man. Basically down at the bottom score. Oh, interesting little shifting sands there. Odysseus doesn't quite make it into the box. Bummer for... Bummer for Ulysses, okay? Or, sorry, bummer for Chemo, rather. I think that... I mean, I like the aggression from the F2 guys. But I don't know if it's strong enough. It looks like Ulysses and more are able to handle this fairly okay. And Chemo is, how close is he to, wait, what the hell? Chemo's not heroic yet? Instead, Chemo's going barracks? Chemo's going barracks, okay. At nine minutes, I thought he maybe would be heroic by now. Maybe getting a whole bunch of chariot archers out, I suppose. But yeah, the, the thing is that player, player's army, Okay, fine. He's looking good on that gold mine right here, but player's army, his his military numbers seem like they're a, li a bit low, honestly. All the while, Ulysses and more are maybe able to hold this aggression from uh, Squash and GMZ. GMZ losing those two citizens hurt big time, man. That hurt big time. And here it comes, okay, here comes Chemos. That's an interesting little thing. Okay, he's making a whole bunch of axes, which is a decent idea against our... Uh, Loki, but they're gonna get completely shredded by those talks, man. Are you kidding me? All right. Yeah, we're not entirely sure why Kimo's going for, instead of going for heroic, he's just going for that classical play, I guess. Um, I would maybe like to see him, t if he's going really for classical units, I'd maybe like to see him push out for that third TC. Maybe just go Max Vills, classical units. Good, uh, good mythic timing. Mm. Yeah, but like Demantis said, I thought, I mean, I mentioned this before, I thought he would go heroic and boom, get chariot archers out, but 
He's, he's getting medium axemen. He's still not going heroic, which is interesting. But man, look at all this. Just look at what's happening here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. I think we have like, look at this. What is going on here? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? This is crazy, man. This is crazy. We got everybody joining in right here. Man, we got everybody joining in. I don't know if I like the... I don't think I like the Axeman um, option, honestly, because the Tox are going to shred him. Even the Terma doing pierce damage. Like, Axes have um, 15... Okay, I think Medium have 10... Is it Spearmen that have 10% pierce armor? Um, I can't quite remember. Anyways. <clears throat> okay, Shockwave up over there. Check Chemo's economy. Okay, fine. Uh, red, is that two? There we go. So Kimo, he's got 232 food, so he's definitely... And he is K. Okay, looks like he is going for that third TC. Okay. Mora's on two TCs. Kimo's on two TCs. All of the F2 guys are on one, one, one TC. So they gotta find a way to do some more serious damage. Otherwise, they're gonna get outboomed. Um, the thing is, is that this is a 3v3 map, so... Ulysses, he had some serious pressure on his gold mine, but he can just go to a back gold mine. Hello. He's okay, man. He's okay. Why is Squash a low score? Squash has been Squash has been um, doing a lot of the doing a lot of the work so far. He's been taking a lot of the fights, doing a lot of the damage, and he's only on one TC. Nice. This is wonderful by Squash. Honestly, I'm a l actually no. I'm not surprised that Chemo. This is the thing. Like this is great teamwork by the F2 guys. Kimo's just losing tons of units and HP damage on all those uh, on all that army, and then boom! Now they switch over and double, triple the uh, the Ulysses army. Squash is even um, taking a forward TC. Okay, okay. We got GMZ in the back taking a back TC. Okay, okay. Player in the green. He's got a nice army, but he's not really been able to do a lot with it. You know, he's not been able to do a lot with it. Honestly, third TC is up for Kimo, man. Their TC is up for Chemo. Nice triple on Chemo here, man. Really nice triple on Chemo. He's losing Vils, baby. He is losing some serious Vils. Okay, whole bunch of upgrades coming in for everybody. Skin of the Rhino coming in for, um, for Chemo. It's a good thing Chemo has three TCs. He's gonna have to replace a lot of these villagers. Mora is a little bit late to the party over here. The damage is done, man. Damage is done. What about Ulysses? Ulysses is a little bit slow himself. Ulysses' team is going to win probably, says Demantis. Possibly, man. I would agree with you about two minutes ago. But within the past two minutes, I think that um, the F2 guys have taken really nice fights. They've taken really nice fights um, and done a lot of damage to the, to the Alliance guys. Having said that, the Alliance guys have more economy going. Ulysses himself is trying to get a second TC going. Looks like Moore was able to def um, block that TC from Squash going up. Mm, at least it looks like it. It looks like it. Right? Players are sitting duck now. Yeah, he's going for that forward TC. Okay. But I think that players maybe... He hasn't quite been able to do, you know, hard-hitting damage um, against, against Ulysses. Ulysses is alive and well, man. He's gonna be on a second TC here pretty darn soon. He is alive and well. Does he have Hall of Thanes? He does not have Hall of Thanes just yet, so his army's a little bit slow to, um, you know, go around and catch these faster hers here, catch the Aranos units, etc. Um, but still, we'll see, we'll see what he's able to do. Player is making a very interesting move over to, no, 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 over to Moore's side. Anyways, he's probably going to be able to pick off that. Oh, no way. This is the th this is the heroic TC from. Yeah, what a clutch uh, sh uh, shockwave right there to try and delay those hoplites from getting in. 77%. Are you kidding me? If he were able to delay that, holy. Are you kidding me, dude? If he's able to delay that, that heroic, that would be huge. That TC is half pop. Are you? Oh, Mason's comes in right there. Mason's just barely coming in. That saved his ass, man. That saved his ass, I think. Wow! If Moore would have lost um, Heroic Age right there, he loses a TC. Okay, fine. Yes, fine. Um, player is way out of position over here, but still, if he would have also lost Heroic, that would have hurt for sure. For sure. Okay, what's Kimo doing? Kimo's got the three TCs going. Okay, he's walling up that action. Okay, 
Players got the forward TC. Players going for the back TC. Um, he's got some decent farms going. We got Broggy coming in for both of the Loki guys. Broggy's coming in for both the Loki guys. We got Thea coming in for GMZ. This is a, a contested town center. This is the interesting thing um, between these guys. On the since um, since what's his bucket lost this TC here. <sighs> TCs is going to be an interesting little crux potentially. Um, will the Alliance guys be able to get some map control on that top side and prevent GMZ from taking this TC? That could be catastrophic, potentially. Ulysses taking his forward TC. Squash taking his forward TC. Okay. Hecate! Bro, he's got Hecate coming in. If you were in Mora's shoes, where are you going to use a Tartarian Gate? Are you, <clears throat> would you use it on player, maybe, to continue to slow him down? Would you maybe use it on Loki back here to really mess with the Loki player? Would you use... Oh, 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 Locust! Not very good, but it kills a bunch of farms. Kills a couple of dwarves, bunch of farms, okay. Okay. Why not go Vortex? Yeah. Uh, we got Osiris coming in. We got Apollo for player. Osiris, Hecate. We got some age ups going, people. We got some age ups going. I like what players do in the walls over here. I like the walls over here. Osiris for Osiris for chemo. Osiris for chemo. This is hilarious usage of his classical army right here. Honestly, I'm gonna go quickly look over on this side. We got more with it. There's. It's so hard to cast three v threes, man. More damage on GMZ, which is one, two, three. He just lost three, four? Three, or maybe who's, whose citizen was that that just died? I don't know who's it. One, two, three, four. I think GMZ just lost four citizens, and he's only on two TCs, although we might be able to sneak that guy up real quick. Lots of damage on GMZ, man. Lots of damage on GMZ, and more. More is only on one TC, but check it out. He's got that killer sky passage over there that we saw. Flaming weapons coming in for Ulysses. Squash, squash. What is Squash doing? Squash is saving. He's gonna save his flaming weapons and just run away. Okay. Ulysses did get Hall of Thanes. Okay, Ulysses did get Hall of Thanes. I kind of like that decision by Squash. I maybe like that decision from Squash. Um, Ulysses' army is a little bit slower since only half of them are um, those fast hearse here, so he can just run away from flaming weapons no problem. I like that move from Squash. I'm not entirely sure why Ulysses used his flaming weapons. Maybe he thought that Squash would use it. I'm not sure. Okay, he's able to clear up player's forward base. Okay, speaking of player, player's got a... Oh, mama! Player's got an underworld and behind more. More going for a second TC. Okay. We do have Hecate. He is mythic. He is mythic. He is mythic. Okay. More is mythic. I don't think we have... Did I miss... Nope, no, no Tartarian Gate just yet. That TC's definitely going down. Um, Engine, or Architects is not going to save it. Hoplites and all those... Jesus, one, two, three, four, five, six Battle Boars for Squash coming in. Oof. More is down to... Well, now he's on one TC, that guy back there. But, oh, mama. He might get gutted here, man. He might get gutted. Check it out. Where's Ulysses? Ulysses is just, uh, Ulysses is somehow top, uh, close to the top score now. But the thing is, is that, um, Squash, Squash does use his flaming weapons here. Okay. Doesn't really have a huge army. He has so many battle boars. He really doesn't have a big army. Uh, remember, flaming weapons only affects your human units. It only affects your human units, so so many battle boars. Mm, not the strongest flaming weapons I've ever seen. Ulysses can take the fight, no problem, especially with throwing Axemen to follow it up. Okay, that shit is definitely going down. Moore did a lot of great um, damage on GMZ, but geez, he is getting gutted right now. Completely gutted, which allows GMZ, on the other hand, to recover and get his third TC. Player lost his front TC. Good, geez, thank you. Thank you, whoever said Alex. Yeah, Chemo is uh, pushing on that right side. Player losing his forward TC. What the hell does player have? Dude, player underworlded, underworlded? Player underworlded over to this left side. So he's completely devastating more. But simultaneously, we got uh, Chemo finally ready to push through. He's got four TCs. He's got Mythic. He's got Son of Osiris. 
tier. We got tier cut uh, tier. That's kind of funny. We got hell coming in for squash. We got tier coming in for Ulysses. We got Helios coming in for GMZ. The big question. More is basically toast, man. More is basically toast. He's almost lost all of his citizens, dude. Are you kidding me? He's got two citizens there. He has one hero citizen left over. What about this over here? No, no, no. <laughs> He's got this citizen way over here on the left side of the map. He's got one citizen there. More is completely toast. More is completely toast, but maybe, maybe player is as well. Although having said that, maybe player is as well, but boom, we got a rock. We got a rock there to save the son of Osiris. Okay, but the Stephelian bird almost picks off that rock. Okay, we got GMZ over here to try and stop Chemo's push. Clutch move by him with that vortex. Are you kidding me? One, one citizen, oh, barely one citizen, a couple of citizens. Okay, so he does have several citizens coming over uh, to try and take that uh, TC, but you, uh, but, but, uh, but player picking off the citizens. He's got units over here still. Fimble Winter, Fimble Winter three um, exclamation point Fimble Winter in the chat. If you're interested, I am hosting a Fimble Winter tournament. Click the link. Super cool. Anyways, Fimble Winter coming in. For Ulysses, that is brutal for sure. Although, but still, I mean, more is almost dead, almost toast, almost, almost, almost toast, man. Big difference here between the Loki players. Um, Squash going for Hell, which gives him access to all the giants, and Ulysses going for Fimble Winter. I like Fimble Winter in team games since it does damage all of your. Ooh, this is gonna hurt since it does damage all of your opponents, but still. This is gonna hurt. This Nidhog hurts big time. Plus the fire giants that you that uh, Squash has access to. Yeah, that hurts. That's some idle gold right there for um, what's his bucket. Okay, son of Osiris still alive, but Bellerophon doing some serious damage. Alrighty then. No rock, no siege tower, and a bolt. We got a bolt from player. Boom. See ya. There goes Son of Osiris. There goes Son of Osiris. That's going to slow down Chemo for sure, but he still has four TCs. Okay, he is starting a trade route, but he's and he is getting 93 gold for, per caravan. That is pretty darn decent. Okay. Squash coming in to help defend. So we got Pink that did come over here with the Vortex. Squash is coming over here. Player did make it to Mythic. He did get up through Hephaestus. Okay, somehow, whoa, okay, Ulysses pushing on the forward TC of GMZ, so GMZ is down TCs, alrighty then, player's got a bunch of villagers over here on this top side, by the way, so he is, even though Mora has another TC, player's got a lot of potential bullshit to go on up on that top side, can Chemo hold? Look at all those, geez, look at all those, look at all those, uh, Witchma buckets, what are those buckets called? Witchma buckets, look at all those Witchma buckets. What's up, Rapple? The Ganis, Ganis. Okay, what do we got? We got a second TC coming in for more, although he's gonna lose another citizen. Oh, oh, there he goes. Okay. Hey, is that TC gonna do go down? Are you kidding me? Well, the Colossus is just about dead. Colossus is just about dead. We got some Myrmidon coming over here from. Uh, what's it called? I think but for, with those two Helopoli, that's how you say it, boy! <coughs> Helopoli, TC is down. Where's the villagers? Yeah, no villager. There we go. Villagers to finally try and rebuild that TC. Ouch. Ouch that that had hurt. hurt. Okay. We got Ulysses pushing on this left side against GMZ, taking that forward TC. Actually, Ulysses is taking this back TC of more and the forward TC of GMZ. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to be on five TCs eventually. However, squash here in the center. This is Ulysses. Z Forward TC. Squash is getting some a little change of events. A little change oh, in his point of hurt. attack going. Okay, okay, okay. Player still's got still's got still has got that bullshit going on. Chemo eventually gonna get a fourth TC back up. Pushing on to Chemo. Er, Chemo, Jesus, Chemo pushing on to player. I but man, this this is this is a messy, crazy game. Where do you look? Where do you look? Stimpers onto the Giants, that's clutch. No Herseer here from Ulysses. A bunch of Ulsarts, bro, that's not the way you kill Giants. There we go, some Herseer coming in. I think that that, um, that Nidhogg action on the gold mine of Ulysses, that definitely hurt him. 
He does, however, have a bunch of gold of trade. 52 per caravan, that's no bueno, but at least he's got something. We almost have two TCs for more. We got five TCs for... Here's the thing, we have five TCs for Ulysses, but does he have the economy to produce? Produce, produce, produce. Like between, they got 10 town centers. Jeez, it's 10 to five town Ouch, centers. that had to hurt. Players down a TC, it looks like the um, Alliance guys have taken a clear advantage in this game. GMZ still hurting on this top side. I don't really know what he's able to do. Okay, so he's able to vortex and I guess slow down chemo once again. Slow down chemo once again. Everybody in the chat calling GG already. Hold your horses, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a vortex here. That's gonna stop this. And remember, players on the top side in the green. He potentially has some bullshit to do up there. I think this comes down to Squash. Squash is, how is Squash only on two town centers? How did this town center go down? I don't even know how this town center went down or maybe he just never took it. I don't know, but Squash is only on two TCs for right now. GMZ and the pink only on two TCs and they call it, they call it, they call it, they call it, they call it. We got the Alliance team clapping back with a very... <laughs> we got a very vibrant uh, game number two, everybody. It started off, remember, it started off with all of that aggression. All of that aggression with the F2 guys on Ulysses. Ulysses and more somehow able to hold, 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 hold. Chemo going with the very questionable barracks play and the delayed heroic um, advance. Man, very questionable play, but excellent, uh, evidently excellent holding by Ulysses and the support from more. More getting those crazy sick picks on, um, whoops, on the wood line of GMZ early on. That definitely slowed down um, GMZ. What a game, what a hold by Ulysses and more. And then Chemo to push down on the bottom side to really, to really wrap things up in a, with a nice little bow. Post game real quick, then we'll jump into the next one. Nice KD Ulysses, Chemo with the bad one, but whatever, he made classical barracks units. Jeez Louise. Thank you for all the follows, guys. Donic Bello, Galafra, Kaiser. Thanks for the follows, guys. Much appreciated. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, what what a what a vibrant game number two, eh? Alliance taking the game. And a, most of you guys voting for Alliance in that in that last prediction. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. They chose Ghost Land, not Ghost Lake. They chose Ghost Land. It's the wrong map introduction, but I don't have a Ghost Land one. It is what it is. Okay. Out of sync. Okay. All right, we're not gonna do our, that's an Isos, nah, 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 nah. But there's a dark one, a different Greek dark beer that I'm trying to think of. I can't remember. Ne, no, toxero amentas. Oti, um, Nisos in Elina. Elini, Eli, whatever. Okay, everybody, we are back into game. We are in game number three, everybody. I don't have, like I said, I don't have the ghost land introdu map introduction. I'm sorry, I'm going to make it for my Fimble Winter Tournament, however. Anyways, we have. That's enough about beer for now. That's enough about beer for now. We gotta, we gotta start introducing this game, okay? So on the um, on the alliance side, bottom part of the map in the yellow, we got more. Once again, surprise, surprise. He is playing Aranos, okay? His pocket is Chemo playing Ra, and then on the top right side, we got Ulysses playing Loki, baby. I knew it. Ulysses is prepping for Fimble Winter Three, baby. He's prepping for Fimble Winter 3, exclamation point Fimble Winter in the chat if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, okay, so yeah. So we got Loki, Ra, and Aranos. That's a little bit interesting because this time that was that's the same god composition or combination as the previous game on Alfheim, but this time um, Chemo is in the pocket. Chemo's in the pocket this time, okay? Anyways, okay, let's go look at the at the F2 guys. We got Squash. 
He is the he is our generous game host in the blue color. He is once again playing Loki. OK, so we got Loki in the blue. We got player in the pink. He is once again playing Zeus. OK, and uh, in the pocket. And then we got Ra from Gold Lion up in the um, right flank. OK, so Ra, Zeus, Loki. OK, on the bottom part. On the bottom side, we got Loki as Squash against Moore, who is a Ranos. On the top side, we got Loki Ulysses against Ra Gold Lion. And then for the pocket players, we got Zeus and we got Ra. All righty then. Speaking actually, before we change the topic all too much, I know you guys did not remind me, but beer counter engage. There we go. Okay, what do we got? What is this? <laughs> this is macro right here, everybody. This is this is macro. Actually, actually, this is what we got. Chemo actually has a bad. Look at this. Chemo has crap wood. Look at this. This is Chemo's like closest wood, way forward up there, right? That is a very peculiar looking second town center. Okay, but yeah. Look at this wood line for Chemo. He's got another one up here. Oof. That's all I gotta say. Oof. Ulysses went, um, uh, Loki? Yeah, Ulysses went Loki, okay? So, I real quick, I want to... T I want to reveal the map, because I didn't quite get this in the map introduction. These guys are playing on Ghost Land. If you are not familiar with Ghost Land, it is Ghost Lake, but instead of ice in the center, it's snow. So, you can build here. You can build here. If you look at the map, like you see, um, you see how there's like the big empty space as if it were ice. Well, but it's but it's but it's land. It's 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 dirt with snow on top of it. OK, F Y I. All right, someone was asking for chemo's herdables. He has five fully healthy goats, OK, four and a handful that are already being eaten. OK. Um, we have one, the other, we're already starting to get into like Forseti and Prometheus and whatnot. You missed the last game, you can't rewatch it. Why? I'm not sure, Temp, I'm not sure. For some reason, um, I tried to look in my Twitch settings to see why you can't like go back. Hang on, Phoenix, hang on. Why you can't go back, um, in the stream. And I don't know why you can't. I'm not sure why. I actually have one idea. I'm going to change one thing real quick. I'm going to change one thing real quick and we'll see if that allows you to always publish. I'm going to change it to always publish VODs. OK, you can maybe try again. Um, who was that? You can maybe try again, Temp and Phoenix. Phoenix, can I tell you something real quick? Boyd is managing this tournament in his discord, so he doesn't have like a very simple bracket put together. He's managing it in his discord. I personally think it's a little bit awkward, but yeah, I don't have a I don't have a bracket put together. Oh, but Clayton. Oh, thank you, Clayton, for yeah the Liquipedia link. Anyway, so one thing I want to mention before we get too far into classical is that the TCs are not very forward. TCs are not very forward at all. So I could easily, easily see this. Um, check my Steam messages. Okay, Vera. Anyways, I could easily see this go very late game because the the forward TCs are not very forward. Um, I mean, like if you think about for those of you who are watching live, um, the on the previous map on Alfheim, that was a pretty critical issue um, for, for example, for player player lost his forward TC to chemo because it was so far forward. He was slow, blah, blah, blah. Everything happened. GMZ lost his forward TC. Um, you know, the <clears throat> forward TCs were a, a big crux in the game, so to speak. Anyways, that may probably will not be the case in this game. So anyways, having said that, we got more. He's making all of his units. It seems like um, Ulysses here in the green. Everything is streaming over to the kind of this middle player. Yeah, okay, to the middle player who is player. Okay. Player on forward berries. Player also taking a second TC. Gold Lion <laughs> also taking a second TC. Squash is not taking a second TC, but he's wanting to keep his hunt safe. Or er, food income, his berries. 
So we got two town centers from Chemo, of course, Chemo the raw player. Of course, Chemo's gonna go two TCs. And then we got player in the pink, two TCs. We got gold line as the raw player, two TCs. No big surprise there, no big surprise there. Okay. It seems like most of the action is just going on right in front of player's base right here. We got Hall of Thanes coming in for both players. Ulysses, his, his Hall of Thanes comes in way before squashes. Okay. Ooh, that hurts. More probably going to lose that Mermillo. Okay, the hero Mermillo right there. That definitely hurts. Yeah, oof. Ouch, that had to hurt. Jason could go down as well. Ouch, that could hurt. Okay. You see, if you look at the mini-map, everybody, we got green and yellow just streaming across the map. Nice pressure here by you more. By you Ouch, more. that had to hurt. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. Nice bit of pressure here by Squat or by uh, more. I do want to point out one other thing. Um uh, this this goal this is ghost land again it's similar to ghost lake this Bruh. is a one gold mine map okay this is a one gold mine map so you don't have two gold mines in your base if i'm not mistaken everybody ghost land can have two starting gold mines correct i think i'm correct but although having said that he's got a crazy sick back gold mine right there so i guess this is you know a non issue for squash there's some decent if you look on the mini map closely you can see that there's some pretty good back gold mine options for the Alliance players. Same, similar story for the F2 guys. Similar story for the F2 guys. <laughs> Oops. Okay. We just got action happening. A little bit of action, but nothing too crazy. Moore was almost able to get a little bit of um, pressure there on Squash. Squash, walling up his gold mine and back TC. Me gusta, me gusta. Oh, by the way, for those of you guys who, um, that don't know, Gold Lion here in the red, he did sub into the game and GMZ subbed out, okay? So they, the, the F2 guys wanted to make that small distinct or um, change up there. Gold Lion going for a third TC, okay? Did he just age up? Yes. Gold Lion is up heroic through Hathor. Forward TC coming in for him. We got Chemo taking a third TC himself. Is Chemo already heroic? He is already heroic with this Migdol up. Alrighty then. Ulysses getting a second TC up himself. More getting a second TC up himself, okay? So everybody's gonna be two or three town centers, except Mr. Squash. Except Squash. <laughs> I know, I know, too easy. I know everybody saw it, but, um, you know, if, um, if I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up putting these games up onto YouTube, since I'm not really covering very many of Boyd's tournament games. If I do, sweet. If not, then whatever. But if it is up on YouTube, maybe some people aren't following and are not aware. Anyways. Yeah, that's a bummer for Ulysses. He's not able to take that full Arox, even though he just killed it. Second TC for Squash right there. Alrighty then. Seems like the game has kind of calmed down a little bit. Oh, I'm a complete liar. Look, 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 look. Why did I not notice that two second gold mine? There actually is, two, this is a two gold mine map. Okay, that's my bad. Hey, my bad, my bad, everybody, my bad. This is a two starting gold mine map. Okay, I apologize for that. Nice surround there by Squash, okay. Probably gonna get a lot of damage on that army of more, okay. Speaking of more, he's going for a third town center down yonder. Okay. Bummer for Squash oh that he was. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Nice tease. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I love face. I like Jim Carrey. I don't care what you guys say. I like Jim Carrey. Oh. One, two, three, four. On his wood. I mean. Uh, a locust on a wood is not all that wonderful, but one, two, three, four, minimum four villagers that just died there. Pretty decent, pretty decent by Chemo. Although he's gonna lose his myth units right there. Boom, both of them dead. Nice catch there by Squash, very nice catch. Okay. 
Okay. Player finally getting some um, military units out. Taking a really awkward fight here against green and yellow. Okay, that's alrighty then. Using a shockwave to try and get some more kills on those hoplites. Alrighty. Jim is the man. You like him, Muros? I like Jim Carrey a lot. Um, uh, I particularly like him in Liar Liar and The Grinch. Mm, 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 mm. Chemo's finally up and going, baby. He's three TCs. He's got camels coming out of his ears. Alrighty then. Oh, oh, you, oh, 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 Ulysses with a crucial loss of his gold, of all of his dwarves. All of his dwarves just did, did. I don't even know how many. Look at those little bodies. One, two, three. I, I'm not even going to try and count them right now. What a bummer, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, there's probably 10 to 12 dwarves right there. Boom, toast. That's nice Ouch, that he has some backup. <laughs> Perfect, Hero. Perfect. He does have backup right there, but still. Ouch, that definitely had to hurt. Okay. Gold Lion's got some nice little protection on that forward TC. Bad. Squash is going for a forward TC right here. But it... Excuse me, it might be delayed. We got some yellow coming in. We got some green coming in. We got more yellow coming in. Okay. Looks like he's gonna be able to get that TC after all. Okay, so more and Ulysses not able to um, to to prevent that from coming in. Okay, okay, okay. That will put uh, Squash up to three TCs. So he will, he was on one TC for the majority of the game, but boom, just like that, we got three TCs for him. We got three, three, two. Player is taking a third TC, but I'm not sure where. One. To what? Where's players other? Oh, this is players town center. This is players town center that Squash just took. Look at the minimap. Look at the minimap. See that guy right there? That's an empty settlement, baby. This is actually Squash's town center. You know what? Oh, nope, 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 not that Ouch, one. Ouch, that, that had, had to hurt. hurt. That one, that one. Ouch, that had to hurt. Bummer for player. That's going to be awkward for player to somehow try and go and take that TC. Okay, having said that, we got a nice push over here between Chemo and the Teal and Ulysses in the green on the forward uh, Migdal by uh, by Gold Lion. Players coming in to try and help out. Okay, a bunch of Hoplites. That's going to be pretty good against the Hearse here. Definitely good against the upgraded camels. Heavy camels for Chemo. Very nice. Speaking of Chemo real quick, he's got trade that's already starting, okay? Same thing with Gold Line, a lot more markets. This is what we wanna see, baby. This is what we wanna see, they're free. These markets are free, that's what we wanna see, okay? Many markets, that's what I'm thinking, okay? Flaming weapons here by Squash to really hit the main base of Ulysses, okay? We do have Ulysses going flaming weapons as well, completely cleaning up the forward um, everything <laughs> of, of Gold Line right here, okay? That's a little bit sketch. Check this out. We got an underworld that I almost missed. Underworld by player onto the back TC of Ulysses. So Ulysses getting his little keister tickled right now. Oof. That hurts for sure. Okay. So boom, just like that. Chemo is taking a forward TC. So he is up to four TCs. That means Ulysses is only on to a ah, quarter of a TC right now. Ulysses, man. We saw this in the previous game on Alfheim. Moore was completely deleted from the map. Looks like Ulysses gonna be completely deleted from the map. Let's see how many villagers he's gonna, or eco units he's gonna be able to save. He, he still has a lot of his economy left. A lot of his economy left, it looks like it. Okay. But still, you can see a lot of dead villager bodies there, baby. A lot of dead villager bodies. That underworld is gone, which is nice for the, uh, nice for the Alliance guys. But still, lots and lots and lots of damage done. Tornado is down. Yes, where did I miss the tornado? Uh, Chemo did use tornado somewhere. I think he used it here. Chemo must have used a tornado here, but I'm not sure really what uh, happened. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> man, 3v3s are fucking crazy, everybody. It's easy. So easy to miss stuff, right? Okay, so main TC of Gold Line tornadoed, but it does not take down the TC. Player is trying to get his, well, 
a third TC, which is actually Squash's TC. He's only got two villagers there. It's going to take a long time. Uh, this is clutch for more. If more is able to get a palace up right here, that's going to set him up very nicely. Okay, he already has a handful of buildings here to start. Um, honestly, with all these buildings, Moore is going to be able to push on this TC very nicely. They can, the Alliance guys can maybe get a TC advantage um, on this left side. Speaking of TC advantage, Chemo's going to be up to five fucking town centers, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Hecate coming in. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Hecate coming in. Okay, 30% for Moore. Alrighty then. Alliance is looking very strong, even though Ulysses lost his, all of his town centers. He is able to re K. Okay, he builds his town centers back. He has most of his economy that is intact and alive. Okay. Chemo's going to be on five, maybe going to be on five town centers. That's what he's shooting for. Tier coming in for squash. Tier is coming in for squash. Okay. So remember, squash is on three T's. Boom. There we go. Tier coming in. That's going to... Ouch, that, that had to hurt. hurt. Yep. Since uh, Ulysses had a little eco damage right there, that hurts. He's having to go idle. Everything having to go idle again. Okay. Player on this left side. Player's trying to drop some military buildings so he can try and push on this Ouch, TC right here. Are you kidding me? This is more with the Sky Passage action in this series. Very nice. He's got the palace up. He's going to be able to take a fourth town center for himself. Chemo's fourth town center temporarily delayed alrighty then you know the interesting thing is that f2 maybe is behind in tc's right now but they are ahead in score which is a little interesting something something gold line is coming in with osiris okay so we have an interesting difference there we got gold line going osiris we got chemo going uh horus okay Oh, ho, ho, ho. cease fire by player to so that gold line can get his town center back. Okay, I guess that's a good idea because they already lost access to this forward town center on the left side of the map. And more is starting to push in big time, man. So the fact that they're pro I mean, he's able to get this TC back on this right side. They absolutely have to hold. They absolutely have to hold over on this side. So the fact that Goldline's able to get a TC back up, he's on three TCs. He's got Osiris that's probably coming in here in just a second. Pedibastet is a fairly awkward name, but okay, the name of the Pharaoh, Pedibastet. Anyways, um, so yeah, his ability to simply have... Can I check if Yuli's getting resources? Yeah, it's it's messy, Ragnaroks. It's messy with six... With six T... With six... Ah, fuck it, whatever. What is it? Is he three? I doubt it, dude. Honestly, I doubt it because he's got he's got enough economy. I doubt it. If he is getting fed resources a little bit, um, it'll show up in the uh, it'll show up in the post game. Anyways, okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Chemo again. Chemo is on four TCs. Moore's on four TCs. Okay. Squash and Gold Lion on three apiece. The big thing can squash hold three against the four town centers of more over on this left side. I'm not going to lie. If you just look, cut the middle or the map down the middle, it, 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 the mini map, the mini map down the middle, the Alliance guys, they have big time. They have TC advantage. They got big time map control. It's looking really good for them. However, I mean, still, there is a Zeus player. Uh, there is Zeus compared to the Aranos better in the late game. We'll see. We'll see if player can kind of come back on two TCs and get some um, get some late game Zeus power going. It is possible. I mean, <clears throat> check it out on this side. Like Osiris is in. Yeehaw. Son of Osiris, rather. He's laming that forward TC. That's nice. He's already has that sick trade route going. Gold Lion does. So you can see he's massing mercs already. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Gold Lion with all those mercs, he can maybe start pushing against his forward TC of Chemo. Ulysses is only on two TCs. He's only on two TCs. He really doesn't have a whole lot going on with his military. So he can maybe start pushing on Chemo and Ulysses over on this right side. Gold Lion can maybe. So the big question, I think, is whether or not Moore can push over on this left side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Julian says that Chemo can defend against both. Possibly. 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 
Kiba's playing League on the side. <laughs> back build. Back build from whom? Back build from whom? Oh, snap. Squash has got a little back build over, if you look at the minimap, Squash has got a back build over on this right side. I don't think he's really going to do much with it right now, but I guess there's some potential. There's some potential. Since they're down on TCs, it's hard to do a back build when you're down on TCs. Squash himself has three. Okay, fine. So he's on, you know, his normal population for a 3v3. But what can player do, man? What can player do? That's kind of the big question, eh? Player can merm spam, eh? Player can merm spam. That would be sick, honestly. Mermillo against, uh, against the Atlantean units, that would definitely be sick. Okay. Uh, more, more is getting a Tartan Gate. Tartan Gate. <laughs> Tartarian Gate. Titan Gate. Titan Gate. Titan Gate. Yes, Domantis. Good eye. This is the big thing on Ghostland. Now think about Ghost Lake. If all of this, everything in the middle of the ice, well, everything in the middle usually is ice. But player can is gonna get a nice little build here, which is, I mean, he's not really close to attacking a town center. I guess he's kind of close to Ulysses' town center right there. But if they're, if the Alliance guys, if they're not careful, player can just shunk right through the center of the Alliance base, of the Alliance side of the map, which would interrupt trade and everything. That would just be the KO, honestly. So if player can maybe get that going, that could be a huge comeback for the F2 side. Okay, huge comeback for the F2 side. Gold Lion? Gold Lion's starting to take map control over on this right side. He's got, again, Son of Osiris is almost toast. Woo! Son of Osiris is almost toast. Okay. He's almost toast. He's pushing for, but still, he's pushing forward with uh, the towers and whatnot, which is sick. I mean, so far, Kimo and Ulysses are surviving. Jesus, this is no bueno. This is definitely no bueno for Ulysses, having all of his gold idol like that. Pfft. Look at all that HP damage on the dwarves as well. Mother of Pearl. More has been, more has kind of been stopped right here. More has been stopped right here. So it looks like, I don't really know how Squash is able to hold with a whole bunch of throwing Axemen against all those Arcus. I have no idea how this is happening, but it's happening. It's happening. Hey. We got some, okay, Ulysses, and the exact same thing is happening. Ulysses is going to get his own forward position on this TC of Squash. If he's able to take down this TC, this is basically all of the food income of Squash. Are you kidding me? How many farms is this? I don't even know how many farms this is. This is like, this is like 30 farms right here. Are you kidding me? This would be huge if Ulysses is able to kill this TC and delay all of these farms, or stop all of these farms from gathering food. This would be completely huge. Okay, because look at this. This is the other farm space for Squash right here. Okay, he's got a little, a little, a little dealio back on his back, TC. But seriously, all of this economy getting delayed right here. There's even some gold right here. This is clutch by Ulysses if he's able to deny this and take it all down. Oh, mama Sita. Okay. What else is going on? What else is going on? Let's take a look on this right side. Here's the right side. We just got mercs against mercs. We got towers against towers. Come on, man. On the left-hand side, Moore is kind of losing a little bit of his ground, you know? I, again, I have no idea why. Possibly because of the Mermiramidon? But, I mean, he's got a bajillion champion Arcus. And for crying out loud, they're not fully upgraded, but they're halfway there. He's got all those champion Arcus. I don't know why he's getting pushed back by Myrmidon and throwing Axemen, for the love of God. Maybe he's down on resources a little bit since he has so many citizens that are building um, that are building the Titan Gate. That's possible. Squash on this side. Jesus, look at this. Squash on this side. I mean, the hill fort, the towers, he is pushing in big time over on this right-hand side. Ulysses is just about toast. Ulysses is just about toast. Is this going to be a wonder game? Bro, there's no way this is going to be a wonder game. At least not anytime soon. All the back builds, all the, uh, you know, the forward positions for both of the, pl uh, on just everywhere. It's messy. Gold Lions go for going for a Titan Gate himself. That's a little bit sketchy considering the Titan of Moore is almost in. It will take a long time for Moore's Titan to run all the way over here. So, you know, I suppose, or walk all the way over there. I suppose he'll be fine. Mountain Giant spawn, super sick. Okay, there's the Titan. Let's take a look. So cool. Here he comes. So cool. Not quite as cool as the Egyptian um, Titan doing the little shaboosh. 
But yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Forward build of Ulysses. Remember this TC? Remember this TC? That shit's almost dead. Okay. Okay, so this bullshit is happening, but it looks like Squash is holding on and simultaneously pushing on um, Ulysses over on this right side. Ulysses not heroic, or is still heroic. Is he still heroic? I think maybe he is. Ulysses is still heroic. Ulysses has not been able to click up Mythic just yet. Good eye, Ignito. Very good eye, Ignito. Hello, Balliste. Doing some beautiful, delicious secret damage against the against the against the TC. It's easy to kill all the mountain giants and melee units doing that. But man, those bolts, those bolts that are just slowly coming in. Oof. Shut the fuck up. Are you kidding me? Somehow, player is able to get his third TC back. This has taken such a huge swing over into the clear advantage of F2. Ulysses' main base is almost toast. Player back onto three TCs. Gold Lion! Gold Lion is even making some really excellent progress over here. Again, it's four to three TCs between Chemo and Gold Lion. And, but still, look, slowly, 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 Gold Lion is pushing forward against Chemo. Partially because Chemo is having to send some military or some population back here. The TC is down, eh? The TC is down. Check out that shit. Hello. Trying to um, um, prevent this uh, or uh, uh, take care of this back. And more calls it. And more calls it. And more calls it. And they call it. And they call it. Wow. 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 What a comeback for F2. What a comeback from F2. This attack fucked me, says Ulysses. Yeah, that back build. I have, I'm not even joking you. I'm not even joking you. I have zero clue, zero clue how Squash was able to hold over here with a bunch of throwing Axemen and a couple of towers against all of those Arcus and everything from Moore. Moore was not able to push into this uh, main base of Squash, and I think that lost the game for him. I suppose player, Player had some uh, Myrmidon, which were obviously helping out, but still, a bunch of Arcus against against just straight up infantry, Myrmidon and throwing Axemen. Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you serious? Because Titans are more, maybe, yes, um, an an Ananas Kuchen, <laughs> Banana Cake, saying that the uh, maybe he didn't have resources because he had so many citizens that were building the Titan. Maybe. Bro, maybe. 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 What a swing. What a swing. At one point in time, Chemo almost had a fifth town center. Moore had a fourth town center. It was looking beautiful for Alliance. It was looking beautiful for Alliance. But what a comeback from F2. What a huge comeback from F2. Unbelievable. 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 As Mem would say, unbelievable. Wow. Wow. What a game. 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 Mamos. Oh, he then. No, Arsenis, it wasn't. It wasn't Mamos. It wasn't Mamos. <laughs> now that the game is over. Right, Arsenis, now that the game is over. Now to the important stuff. We got to figure out what that Greek beer was, eh? <laughs> oh, hero. Yeah, that locust. Remember that locust on Ulysses? Yep. That locust on Ulysses was so brutal, man. So brutal. Now remember, although having said that, Perot, having said that, he did, that was only half of his gold that died, eh? That was only half of his gold that died. He still had the about half of his gold in his, in that starting um, second gold mine, huh? One, two, three, four. Welcome to Oasis, everybody. We got Ulysses um, here in the pink. He is, I think, the team captain for the Alliance team or clan or whatever they're going to call themselves. What are they, a team, I guess? Anyways, okay, so Ulysses here in the bottom left side, he's playing Kronos. 
His teammate pocket is um, not squash. Oh, his teammate pocket, we're actually going this way. Okay, his teammate pocket is far away from him. Aranos yellow in the yellow here um, in the left corner of the map. And then the top side flank is Chemo playing Ra. Interesting, okay, so we got Ra with two Atlanteans. Ra on the top side, more Aranos pocket and Ulysses, Kronos down on the bottom side. Kronos, Ulysses is going against Squash. Once again, our uh, room host in the blue color. He is going, um, bl sorry, he's going Loki in the blue. So we got a Loki Kronos little situation here. Good thing for Squash, he's got a back gold mine, although a time shift could maybe cause some problems for him. Anyways, okay, so we got Loki, Squash going Loki in the blue. We have Gold Lion as their pocket. He is playing Ra, okay? And then we got player up on the top side. He is playing Zeus. So we got Zeus, Ra, Loki. I think that's the same god combination as game number three against Ra, um, Aranos, and Kronos. Okay, so again, Loki against Kronos on the bottom side. Then we have Kimo Ra on the top side, player Zeus on the top side. And then we have a Ra red and we have um, Aranos in the yellow. So is player very far? Well, that's the thing, um, Mr. SNP4. We got, if you, if you look at the mini map, look at Teal player, right? His pocket is very far away from him, gold line in the red, right? And then look at pink and yellow. It's, it's the opposite on the opposite side, right? It's the same on the opposite side. So the pocket is more in the yellow, and he's pretty darn far away from um, Ulysses in the pink. <clears throat> okay, this is an oasis with a two, um, what's it called? Two oasis, two oasis, two wood circle, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, okay, so there's gonna be maybe some potential bullshit that we could see happen in the center between the two trees. Okay, very interesting. Um, I'm very surprised that Ulysses decided to go Kronos. What is this all about? Ra, Aranos, and Kronos. What? Uh, by the way, Kiluminati, um, message me on Voobly or... Message me on Voobly or Discord or something about all those bits that you used, okay? Oh, hey, a hottie. Thank you for the follow, a hottie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Speaking of no, okay. Anyways, so yeah, I'm very curious to see what Kron or what Ulysses is gonna do with Kronos, huh? Um, I mean, he's getting his temple up right now. Okay, he's got an oracle in the back behind Squash and Gold Lion. He's got another oracle back there. Looks like this guy is not going in the back. So I guess we're not gonna have any type of like early Valor action that happens. But I guess we'll see. Hang on a second, I'm getting a weird little thing in the chat. Ah, whatever. Anyways, okay, so we got Prometheus coming in. Prometheus coming in at 343. Okay, so he's going to be up at about 443. Not the earliest of advances. Aranos is coming in. He's uh, um, through Prometheus. He's going to um, similar about 435-ish advance. Okay. You predict we'll see Temple Shift and Three Behemoth Anal Backdoor. I disagree, Mr. SNP4. I disagree very much. We'll see, though. Although we will probably see more. He's, got, he's grouped up his oracles right here. He's just about advanced. He's definitely going to hit um, Squash right there, although he's kind of psyching him out, right? Squash is preemptively running away instead of finishing that gazelle. So he's kind of scaring him with the with the with the valor um, right there. Although he is just uh, switching over to the to the giraffes and the gazelle right there, which is nice. Is that the giraffes and gazelle of Gold Lion possibly? Why well, no three Loki early rush would be amazing. This is Boyd's tournament, um, Hamdi Shte. This is Boyd's tournament, meaning that um, we go by Boyd's rules, and the rules he set up is that you cannot in one single game. There's no repeat gods, so you can't have two Lokis, you can't have two Ra's, you can't have three Zeus's. Everybody on one team has to go different gods. Okay, we got counter barracks, barracks on this, uh, on, on more. Okay, down if you see the minimap right there. So he's going to be going over, trying to help out um, Ulysses as a Kronos player. Okay, so they're going against, uh, against Squash. What is all this? 
player finding a whole bunch of goats. That's nice. I presume Chemo is going to do some type of 2T. Yep, okay, there we go. Chemo going for a forward TC. How about player? Player just barely advanced through Hermes. And he's going for a back TC. Okay, so we got some um, we got some bo booming, 2TC booming on the top side, I guess. Um, Gold Lion taking his back TC. And, I mean, the big question, can Squash with Loki, can he try and handle to... Um, Dude, all right. Anyways, okay, so let's see if Squash can handle with Loki, if he can handle Kronos and Aranos. The Kronos, you know, probably won't be too bad since Kronos is not doing any type of early shenanigans, but still, let's see if he can handle the 2v1. Boy, go away. Boy, you can't watch this, man. Go away. Don't look at anything, boy. You can't watch this. You have to you have to cast this series completely fresh. All right. He's doing okay so far. He's doing okay so far. I mean, he lost a tower. Yeah, bummer. You see, so, uh, right now, right now I'm having a conversation with somebody on Reddit. Oh, why is, why should we only limit towers to only four wall chips around the tower? This is exactly why. Because many times, unless you place the wall chips perfectly, you can still get into the tower and attack the tower. So if, honestly, in my opinion, squash should be at minimum able to, or uh, able to create eight wall segments around the tower to make sure it's actually secure. That's just my opinion. It is what it is, whatever. Honestly, they just need to ban wall chips for the wonder, otherwise it's fine. I generally share the same. Yeah, look, look, the, the Promethean can still get in. So four wall chips around the tower, it's like, I mean, okay, fine. You could also put a couple houses or buildings around the tower and four wall chips to really secure it. But still, the whole idea is that it's only four wall chips to theoretically block four sides of the tower, but it, it doesn't really work out that way. This one looks like it might be fine. Nope, right there. Hello. And there we go. There's another tower down. Oh, the silly rules. Squash is getting pressured here pretty hard, honestly. Like, uh, about a minute ago, he was looking okay. But I guess yellow, more, meh, okay. He's kind of surviving a little bit. The watchtowers, the wadget is doing a decent amount of damage, honestly. Hopefully he's targeting the non-hero units. He's able to save, if he's able to save those two towers, the two towers, if he's able to save the two towers to keep his gold nice and secure, okay, that's good. There's only 700 left in it, so it's not all that big of a deal. I don't, Naka, I don't want to hear it, Naka. I have my opinion about the wall chips, and it is what it is. A funny little bit of pressure right there. Um, again, on, on the food of Squash. Squash is doing a pretty darn decent job um, defending against this double. Really, he's doing a really decent job defending against the double. Gold Lion finally up through Hathor, if you saw the chat. Okay, he's got his Migdal coming up right there. Beautiful large gold mine right there. Very nice. Okay. And a deconstruction on the watchtower. No matter how many, <laughs> no matter how many wall chips you put around the tower, the deconstruction's still gonna get it, eh? Yeah, the um, he's uh, Squash is doing just fine against this uh, defending against all the pressure from the Atlantean guys. The big question, however, is what is he gonna do with his economy after the goats ran out? Run out? He can eventually go back to like the gold mines behind his base and be uh, kind of okay back there, but still. Once he loses all of his goats, he's not really going to have much of um, food income anymore. He only has seven villagers up over there, getting some monkeys. So Gold Lion, Gold Lion is definitely going to need to start getting getting the show on the road, so to speak, um, and helping out helping out Squash. Squash has done a great job so far, honestly. Great job so far. Having said that, I want to go up to the top side. Let's uh, let's take a little peek at Ruski to see what player in Chemo is looking like. So remember, Chemo took his forward TC, if you see the minimap. He took his forward TC, he's got a forward Migdol, he's actually taking right now, this is player's forward town center, okay? Player went two TCs on a back TC, 
he is going Apollo right now. So that's kind of the funny little situation is that if Chemo goes really aggressive here, okay, but player maybe with an underworld, he can do some underworld bullshit behind Chemo, behind more, um, and cause some problems that way. So let's see, let's see what he's able to do. Gold line with a third TC. Squash is still defending. Does player have much army? He doesn't really have, oh, Jesus. Player has no army aside from his two heroes. Those are some cojones right there. You see those? Those are some cojones, man. Are you kidding me? He's got towers and a couple of stables finally getting, three stables finally getting a couple of hips at. Bro, those are, those are just straight up cojones, man. That's all I gotta say. I honestly, I think Chemo's in a nice position. He already has army out. Is he dropping a siege works? He is. So, I mean, I mentioned the possibility for player to get some underworld action going. Yeah, okay, but he's having, if, if he's having to defend this so much, wow, speaking of defending this so much, that is probably the most, the ultimate reaction I think I've ever seen on a locust. It's almost like Squash was moving his dwarves before the locust actually came in. That was insane. That was insane. And yes, Kimo is about to have four town centers. Having said that, okay, more. What is more doing here? What is more doing here? Pressure with the camels. Ulysses. Ulysses is on two TCs. He's kind of slowing down, you know, regarding aggression and pressure. Maybe he's going to be able to keep squash off of this uh, forward town center. Thank you for the ball follow, Lothar Axe. Lothar Axe. Lothar Axe. Eric BR says that Ulysses is, I don't know. I mean, now that, now that, uh, Horus, okay. So chemo has got Horus coming in. Seriously, players got to get something going fast. Otherwise chemo's on four town centers. He's going to get tornadoed here pretty darn quickly. There we go. Thank you for the follow. 422 is 422. <laughs> That's a fun name. Chemo's maybe going to use Horus on green sea squash. That's on blue. That's a good idea, actually. That'd probably be a good idea because he's in a really nice position against player. But still, player's just been sitting here booming. He's been sitting here booming, going for even more stables. One, two, three, four. That'll be five stables after he builds that. Maybe a sixth. Going for some serious stable play. That's a bit peculiar. Okay, he's actually just going for the ghost build. Maybe not. Well, this is interesting because now that Gold Lion is on the map and, you know, actually contributing to the military, they're able to push both the Atlantean guys back into Ulysses' base. This is Ulysses' main base right here. This is his main base. So F2, honestly, remember, look at the scoreboard, everybody. Look at the scoreboard. Wow. F2, or sorry, um, Gold Lion taking that back TC of more. Oof. If... And player is up through Hephaestus. Okay, there's a flaming weapons from Squash. Okay, this is looking really good for Squash and Gold Lion on this bottom side of the map. The big question, honestly, is whether or not player can hold up on the top side. Can he hold, honestly? Can he hold? If player can hold, maybe the Atlantean players can pull a win out of their little... But aside from that, honestly, since Goldline is back here, he's got a fourth town center. Is he starting trade? He is slowly starting trade. Okay, that's nice. Squash is going to be on the two TCs eventually. Ulysses is pushed back into his main base. He doesn't have any map control or anything. This is looking pretty good for F2 so far, as long as player can hold. That's the big caveat, honestly, as long as player can hold. Okay, there's the um, there's the tornado on Squash's main base. Who called that out, eh? Who called that out? Okay. No, uh, shut up. Wow, wow. Two seventy one HP. The town center doesn't actually go down. What a bummer for Chemo. What a big bummer for Chemo. Speaking of town centers going down, look at that bad boy. Three sixty HP left over. That thing's down for sure. Ulysses, what is the deal with the Chronos pick, man? The Kronos pick? Where did the Kronos pick come from? They're about to lose, dude. Are you kidding me? Players able to hold A-OK -okay over on this side. Chemo's not really putting the aggression on just yet. Speaking of aggression, okay. A funny shifting sands back here. Deconstruction on the Migdol from Ulysses, okay. The TC probably is going to go down, but still, there's... Oh! 
Oh, sick. Sick by player to cease fire that right there. Sick. Oh, oh, there's an open city settlement here. Okay, and Ulysses gets it. Okay, Ulysses gets it. So apparently Squash, looks like Squash was maybe running in some hers here to try and sneak that TC, but he doesn't quite get it. Okay. Oh, 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 but still gold line with the locust stops the citizens from building the TC. Dude, dude. Ouch, Ouch that, that had to hurt. hurt. Yeah. This is not looking good for Alliance at all, man. Are you kidding me? Um, I caro, Icaro says GG. I mean, now that he's getting a whole, trying to get a whole bunch of, um, what are these things called? Mercenaries out to try and, okay, so the siege towers, chemo siege towers do have the engineers upgrade. So it is, I mean, they are stronger. They, ah, ah, with all those villagers repairing the TC, there's no way that's going down. Yeah, and he just what, drives away the, uh, the siege towers, okay. So Squash is going to be on three town centers momentarily. Jeez, the gold line getting the tornado going. A couple of citizens already dead. Town center probably going to fall, but you never know. There we go. Wow, what a that was such a better tornado compared to the tornado on uh, Squash's main TC. It just seems like maybe, maybe the F2 guys have luck is on their side today, man. Luck is definitely on their side today. Chemo's not quite well. I mean, Chemo is pushing into this TC pretty, pretty nicely on 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 player. Player using the underworld. Where did he use his underworld? He used his underworld somewhere over here. Back here. Okay, I didn't see that. Using his underworld back here to kill more. Hey, so I guess I guess player is confident that he can help kill the Atlanteans faster than Chemo can kill him. There's no luck in a best of five. <laughs> <clears throat> F2 is, and there we go. Chemo calls it. TC not come. Yep. F2 calls it. Okay, so F2. F2 takes it. Three to one. Three to one. Wow. They looked so much. Whoops. Wrong button. They, um, honestly, the Alliance guys were looking really good in that Ghostland game, but somehow, somehow. F2 took it back. <clears throat> F2, I mean, again, somehow. Squash was able to hold a straight up, straight up 2v1 Kronos and Aranos against him. Um, of course, Gold Lion had his Wadget there to help him defend, but still, Squash was able to hold the 2v1, and I think that won the game. I really think that won the game, because up on the top side, sure, um, you know, Chemo's pushing in here against player, yeehaw, but seriously, the fact that the Elanian players could not just take out squash two to one i think that maybe won the game for him um gold line was looking he had a sick boom he had a great boom yes yeehaw of course no surprise there as raw the double rains sure because the chemo rain plus his own rain sure but the fact that squash was able to hold that was clutch man this was a beautiful play back here by gold lion excellent i think maybe chemo was just a little bit too small too uh slow He's maybe a little bit too slow to do any damage to player. Like, he's just barely... It's 17 minutes into the game. He's just barely now pushing into the main base of player. All the while, player's got all this bullshit happening, right? So, Chemo's a little bit slow. The Atlantean guy's not able to do the damage against the Loki player, Squash. That's all she wrote, man. Look at... Jeez. Look at Squash's KD, dude. Are you kidding me? 62 to 142. That's more than 2 to 1. Are you kidding me? It's like 2.3 to 1. Unbelievable. More, yeah, look at more in Ulysses. Fucking, look at more in Ulysses, their KD. Bro, that's the story right there, man. Squash was the MVP this game for sure, Eric, for sure. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Unbelievable. Player even had a killer KD himself, eh? Somehow Chemo didn't even have a good KD. Unbelievable. Kill the death ratios, dude. Unbelievable. Of course, the raw players are gonna be, you know, yeah. Ulysses went Kronos because he was tilted from Locust. What does that have to do with anything? And that was the fatal mistake. Yeah, going Kronos was peculiar, dude. Kronos was peculiar for sure. What was, what was the, why, because he was tilted from Locust. What is that? What do you mean by that, Fox? What do you mean by that?
So if I'm not mistaken, boy, that means that F2 goes through to the semifinals and um, the Alliance guys are kicked out. F2 lost on what matchup? Um, on Alfheim. I don't remember. It was Loki, Aranos, Loki, Aranos, Zeus against Loki, Aranos, Gaia. And F2 had Zeus, player went Zeus, and they lost on that one. Double elimination starts in the semifinals. Double elimination in semifinals? That's a little bit weird. Okay. Uh, Boyd, since, I mean, since everybody's watching, Boyd, I'm sure everybody is probably already in your Discord. If not, Boyd, post the, post the link to your Discord so that, um, um, everybody, if everybody wants to look at the bracket and all the, just all the tournament information. Um, at the same time, er, buddy.